and welcome back. All right, as you saw before the break, we were a little bit below average for today. 52 officially for a high meridian. It's normal 57. We were below freezing this morning. It's been kind of cold outside. Thankfully, uh, we're not near our records. Five degrees back in 1985 and last year. Pretty big temperature swing, although I think we would enjoy a 75. I'm not looking at one of those, though, for the next, well, long time at this point. And we picked up some precipitation as the uh, cold front moved through last week. Over the past three hours or so, we've been clear today, relatively fair skies. We've got some clouds moving in, so with that next system, we'll have overcast skies for tomorrow, unfortunately, across the area. But for tonight, we'll hopefully stay above freezing by a couple degrees. Some of us on off to the north and to the east may get near that freezing point. Those winds will still be at the east southeast, five to 10 miles per hour. <clears throat> and then for tomorrow, yeah, we're going to warm on up some. So we'll be, again, in the mid to upper 50s. The winds will be picking up and they'll be shifting being more out of the southeast throughout the afternoon, 10 to 15 miles per hour, and we're going to have a thick cloud cover. We're going to be overcast basically from the noon hour on at least. And so we'll have some breeze conditions across our area. The unfortunate part is, as we talked about earlier, we get those southeasterly winds. It's nice, but we have the Gulf of Mexico to our south, so we're going to bring some moisture back into the uh, region. And that combined with that cold front, we're going to have some storms moving into the area. So. Check it out here on our future radar as we go on throughout tonight. Not too bad. A few scattered showers throughout your Tuesday afternoon into the evening hours, increasing in coverage. And then out to the west by tomorrow night. Yeah, we'll have some rain moving into the area. And we're expecting anywhere from an inch to an inch and a half, most likely, over the next three days. Really, with this system, it's going to be coming in late Tuesday through Wednesday. And it'll be out of here by Thursday at least. So, really, this is over the next 48 hours or so. And so later this week, we'll get our system on off to the east. It's going to be kind of jetting on up to the northeast. But we're going to have cold conditions. Arctic air moving into the area. Now high pressure as well. Big dip in the jet stream. Another cold front moving through Thursday. Luckily, the core of the cold will be on off to our north. But we're still going to be colder than average. We're going to be below average for quite a while. From the 26th to the 30th, we have a 70 to an 80% chance of being below average. Basically, yeah, we're going to be below average. It's almost guaranteed, even though it's 70 to 80%. So for your Tuesday, thick cloud cover, 54 degrees, 51 for an overnight low. And then those, again, storms across the area can't rule out. Some heavy downpours, some rumbles of thunder. We're not really looking at a tornado threat with this, though. It's pretty low at this point, 62 for your high on Wednesday. Look at the overnight lows. And there we go. That cold front moves through, 28 degrees. We're going to stay below freezing for your Thursday night and Friday night. We're only going to get into the lower 50s for highs. And as we get on to your weekend, we'll finally get into the mid 50s for at least Saturday. And we'll start cooling on off again Sunday. Rain and drizzle is possible on your Sunday. Overnight low as well, be at freezing. We'll get into Monday. We're just going to be in the 50s throughout, below average by anywhere from 2 to 5 to 7 degrees, depending on your area, of course, in the viewing area. Ooh, man, all and that below, that's yeah. freezing. Yeah, it's going to be cold. And I mean, we've been talking about it now for a while. So, as you said during the break, just kind of have to grin and bear it because yeah. there's nothing we can really do. Make sure you bundle up. Bring, you know, most plants by now, if you haven't brought them in, are probably going to be dead. So, you know, yeah. Do whatever you need to do if you have any, but be careful. Yeah, yeah be careful. Got it. Thanks. Thank you, sir.